The movie begins in Talon, where an old priest with a white beard and his niece are looking at a red bicycle he is about to buy as a Christmas present. But the girl says that she wants a blue bike, not a red one. The bicycle salesman says that he only has a red bicycle and asks them to come back later because he will find a blue bicycle first. After that, the seller orders his men to steal a blue bicycle. A white van stops in front of a Danish train station where a blue bicycle is chained to a pole. The two men then get out of the van, steal the bike, and rush off. The next day, the owner of the blue bicycle, a girl named Matilda, is seen talking to her mother, Emma, in the car. Because her bicycle was stolen, Matilda has a hard time finding transportation to go to school, especially after Emma's car suddenly breaks down. Emma then calls her husband, Marcus, and tells him about their daughter's bike being stolen and her car breaking down. Marcus, who is a soldier on duty in Afghanistan, says that his return... She takes a deep, steadying breath and makes the decision to take Matilda to school by train instead, determined to adapt to the situation with resilience. Meanwhile, across town, Otto and Leonard find themselves in a crucial presentation, pitching their innovative idea to their skeptical superiors. They're advocating for a smart algorithm that can predict future events by analyzing past occurrences. Otto passionately explains the mechanism behind their creation, emphasizing the importance of historical data. However, despite their best efforts, their pitch falls flat, and they find themselves on the receiving end of disappointment as their bosses fire them. As Otto is about to head home on the train, his attention is drawn to a man in the same carriage sporting an eagle tattoo. As the train makes a stop at the station, Otto observes the man rising from his seat, casually disposing of his sandwich and drink, before exiting the train. The man's peculiar behavior leaves Otto feeling uneasy. Soon after, Matilda and Emma board the train, joining Otto in the crowded carriage. Sensing Emma's discomfort, Otto insists that she take his seat. Suddenly, tragedy strikes as the train lurches forward, colliding with another train, sending shockwaves of chaos and destruction through the carriage. The impact ravages the right side of the train car, instantly claiming Emma's life in the catastrophic collision. In the aftermath of the accident, Otto finds himself racked with guilt as he witnesses Matilda's devastation over the loss of her mother. The weight of responsibility crushes him as he grapples with the knowledge that Emma died after he relinquished his seat to her. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Marcus receives the devastating news of his wife's death in the train accident. Overwhelmed with grief and guilt, he immediately returns home, consumed by a profound sense of failure for not being able to protect his family. As he struggles to come to terms with his loss, his thoughts are torn between his duties as a soldier and the profound emptiness left in the wake of Emma's tragic demise. Marcus insists on seeing his wife's body one last time at the hospital despite the nurse's warnings about Emma's condition being distressing. He brushes off her concerns, driven by an overwhelming need for closure and a final goodbye to his beloved wife. Meanwhile, Otto watches a news broadcast reporting that the train accident claimed the life of a crucial witness, the intimidating man with the eagle tattoo. This revelation sends shockwaves through Otto's mind as he realizes the man's significance in exposing the crimes of the Riders of Justice motorcycle gang. Otto's suspicions deepen, convinced that Emma's death was not a tragic accident but a calculated murder orchestrated to silence the key witness and protect the gang's leader from prosecution. Driven by a sense of duty and justice, Otto rushes to the police station to share his suspicions. However, his claims are met with skepticism and dismissal, with the police attributing the incident to mere coincidence and lacking any evidence linking it to the motorcycle gang. Undeterred, Otto resolves to uncover the truth himself, enlisting Leonard's help to hack into the train's server and retrieve CCTV footage from moments before the accident. Their investigation leads them down a dangerous path, fraught with uncertainty and danger. Meanwhile, Matilda and Marcus struggle to come to terms with Emma's tragic death. Despite his stoic facade, Matilda senses her father's inner turmoil and urges him to seek counseling for support. However, Marcus stubbornly refuses, insisting that he can handle his emotions on his own. During this, Otto and Leonard track down Marcus, revealing their findings about the orchestrated murder plot. Marcus is stunned by the revelation and invites them inside to share more details about the incident. Otto recounts everything he knows, including the suspicious individual who disembarked from the train just before the accident, 
sparking a new wave of determination to uncover the truth behind Emma's untimely demise. Determined to unravel the truth behind Emma's tragic demise and exact justice for his beloved wife, Marcus asks Otto and Leonard to uncover the identity of the suspected killer and trace his whereabouts. Recognizing the gravity of Marcus's plea, the trio embarks on a relentless quest for answers. In their pursuit of justice, Otto turns to his longtime friend and skilled hacker, Emmenthaler, for crucial assistance. With Emmenthaler's expertise in digital forensics and advanced facial recognition software, the team delves deep through vast databases and surveillance footage in search of the elusive culprit. Their initial efforts yield promising leads, but the precision required to identify the suspect proves to be a daunting challenge. Despite encountering obstacles and setbacks, Otto and Leonard refuse to give up. As the hours stretch into days, the pressure continuously increases on Emmenthaler to deliver results. Meanwhile, with each passing moment, Marcus's anxiety intensifies, as his heart is heavy with the weight of uncertainty and the gnawing ache of loss. Yet, amidst the turmoil, a glimmer of hope emerges as Emmenthaler finally makes a breakthrough. Through painstaking analysis, Emmenthaler identifies a potential match known as Pala Olison, the enigmatic brother of the notorious leader of the Riders of Justice motorcycle gang. The revelation sends shockwaves through the group, confirming their suspicions of foul play and igniting a fierce determination to confront the perpetrators head-on. Meanwhile, as Marcus anxiously awaits news of their progress, Matilda returns home in the company of her boyfriend. However, Marcus does not feel very happy about it and shows resentment toward Matilda's boyfriend. Despite this, he chooses to remain quiet for the sake of her daughter, but when Matilda's boyfriend crosses a line with his disrespectful behavior, Marcus's anger boils over, resulting in an outburst of violence. During this, Marcus delivers a punishing blow, taking his frustration all out of him. Matilda gets really mad as she witnesses her father's violent outburst towards her boyfriend. Marcus, realizing the gravity of his actions, offers a heartfelt apology to Matilda, acknowledging the pain and embarrassment his behavior has caused her. He urges her to take her boyfriend home so they can have a chance to talk things out and make amends. Meanwhile, in Marcus's living room, Otto, Leonard, and Emmenthaler gather to share crucial information with Marcus. They reveal the identity of the mysterious man from the train, Paula Olison, the brother of Kurt Olison, the infamous leader of the Riders of Justice motorcycle gang. Determined to confront Paula and unravel the truth behind the train accident, the group sets out to his residence. However, their plans take a chilling turn when Paula greets them with hostility, brandishing a firearm in a threatening manner. In a moment of desperation and fury, Marcus reacts impulsively, firing a fatal shot that takes Pala's life. Realizing what they have done, Leonard takes charge of the cleanup, swiftly disposing of the evidence and erasing any trace of Marcus's involvement. But amidst the chaos, Leonard makes a startling discovery. He sees a captive young man held prisoner within Pala's abode. Wrestling with his conscience, Leonard hesitates, unsure of what to do with this newfound revelation. Back at Marcus's home, Matilda extends an olive branch to her boyfriend, Sirius, inviting him to join them for dinner in an attempt to mend the rift caused by her father's violent outburst. However, despite their efforts, Marcus remains resistant to discussing his feelings. After dinner, Marcus settles in front of the television, watching the news with a heavy heart. He gets mad again as he hears the reporter announce that Kurt Olison, leader of the Riders of Justice motorcycle gang, has escaped punishment due to the untimely demise of the key witness in his case. Despite the tragic loss of his brother Pala, Kurt shamelessly celebrates his newfound freedom, callously disregarding the lives shattered by his criminal activities. Fueled by a potent mix of grief and righteous anger, Marcus resolves to take matters into his own hands. The next day, he summons Otto, Leonard, and Emmenthaler to the barn at his house, laying out his plans for vengeance against the Riders of Justice. Marcus instructs them to gather all possible information about the gang, leaving no stone unturned in their quest for justice. Otto and the others solemnly agree to support Marcus in his quest for justice, but they draw the line at taking lives. Despite their reservations, they stand united in their determination to bring the perpetrators to justice and honor Emma's memory. Meanwhile, Matilda observes Marcus and his friends departing from the barn together and gets worried for her father's well-being. 
As Matilda watches Otto and the others leave the barn, a flicker of recognition crosses her mind. She approaches her father, questioning him about the identity of the mysterious group. Sensing her daughter's curiosity, Marcus hesitates, unsure of how to respond. In a moment of quick thinking, Leonard steps in, weaving a web of deception to shield Marcus from Matilda's inquiries. With a reassuring smile, he fabricates a story, explaining that they are actually a therapy group assembled to help Marcus cope with his trauma. Leonard even offers to act as Matilda's therapist to maintain their cover. Relieved by the explanation, Matilda's eyes light up with hope as she realizes her father is finally taking steps to address his emotional struggles. Grateful for the newfound support, she eagerly accepts Leonard's offer. Meanwhile, in a grim turn of events, Kurt and his cohorts resort to brutal tactics in their quest for vengeance. Torturing Bodashka, the young man held captive during Pale's murder, Kurt demands answers about his brother's killer. Despite enduring unimaginable pain, Bodashka remains steadfast, revealing only a cryptic mention of Emmenthaler's name. Back at Marcus's home, a somber determination settles over him as he resolves to take decisive action against Kurt and the Riders of Justice Gang. Rallying Otto, Leonard, and Emmenthaler to his cause, Marcus invites them to use the new base camp behind his house as they embark on their mission of justice and revenge. However, as the group prepares to embark on their mission, Emmenthaler voices his frustration with Marcus's outdated computer equipment, insisting on using his own gear instead. Understanding the importance of modern technology in their endeavor, Marcus, Otto, and Leonard hastily agree to accompany Emmenthaler to his residence to bring all the necessary computer equipment. Unbeknownst to them, Kurt's henchmen have already identified Emmenthaler as a target and are covertly surveilling his residence. As Marcus and the others enter Emmenthaler's house, they are suddenly ambushed by gunfire from Kurt's men. In a moment of quick thinking, Marcus instinctively shields Otto and Leonard from the bullets before launching a daring counterattack. With precision and determination, Marcus swiftly kills Kurt's men, freeing Bodashka from captivity in a nearby vehicle. Seizing the automatic weapons belonging to the assailants, Marcus leads the group back to his house, determined to regroup and strategize their next move. Arriving at his residence, Marcus instructs Otto and the others to lay low while Kurt and his men search for them, fully aware of the dangers that lie ahead. Now, the group bonds together in solidarity, finding strength in their shared mission. Over time, Otto and others also form a close bond with Matilda finding solace and companionship amidst the chaos. While they are staying low, Marcus also teaches shooting skills to Otto and the others for self-defense. Meanwhile, Kurt and his gang discover Otto and Leonard's association with Emmenthaler and dispatch their men to track them down. Emmenthaler manages to hack into the gangsters' phones and learns of their plan to convene at a bar. Marcus, Otto, Leonard, and Emmenthaler head to a restaurant where they anticipate encountering Kurt and his cohorts. Marcus successfully eliminates Kurt and all of his henchmen. Back at Marcus's house, Otto notices Matilda's wall adorned with various events, realizing that it all traces back to her bike being stolen. He explains to her the complexity of causality and the futility of pinpointing a single reason for such events. Meanwhile, Bodashka reveals to Leonard during their conversation that Paula wasn't on the train during the accident. They were both in Germany together. Shocked by this revelation, Leonard informs Otto and the others. Upon revisiting the facial identification process on the computer, they discover that the man they presume to be Pala is actually an ordinary Egyptian railroad worker. They conclude that the train incident was indeed an accident, not a deliberate act of sabotage. Upon learning this truth, Marcus becomes enraged and frustrated for attacking the wrong person, grappling with overwhelming guilt and unleashing his anger by destroying objects around him. Meanwhile, the Riders of Justice gangsters obtain information about Otto through a social media post and quickly move to locate him. They manage to track down Sirius, who had posted a photo of Otto with Matilda, coercing him to disclose Otto's whereabouts. The following day, the remaining gangsters utilize information gleaned from Matilda's boyfriend's social media to launch an assault on Marcus's house. In the ensuing chaos, some gang members sustain injuries. Matilda is taken hostage, and Marcus is disarmed by the Riders of Justice. Utilizing the weapon training provided by Marcus earlier, 
Otto, Leonard, and Emmenthaler stage an ambush and ultimately eliminate the gangster, rescuing both Marcus and Matilda. This marks the end of their mission. The scene transitions to a festive Christmas atmosphere, where Marcus, Matilda, Otto, and the others come together to celebrate the holiday and exchange gifts. The film concludes with the priest presenting a blue bicycle, belonging to none other than Matilda, to his niece as a Christmas gift. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more movies like this. Thanks for watching.